create a beautiful web page today also. In this lesson, I will teach you some new tags. Before I create this design, I will build the CSS code related to the code we will use. Go to the style.css page on the left side panel. From the first line, body, open curly brackets. After entering between the curly brackets, I come to the second line. Now let's type the CSS code needed to change the font of this body section here. Font dash family colon Arial semicolon is time. Now I change the margin by typing margin colon 0px semicolon in the third line. Go to the fourth row and change the background color. Now from the fifth row, I change the color of the letters. From the brackets in the sixth row, the changes related to this body part are over. Now let's come to the seventh row. From this line, I created a class called dot div dash img. In this class, I give as text dash align colon center semicolon. Now we have finished creating this part too. Now from the 10th line, I am going to enter the codes needed to add paragraphs. In this line, I use p2 colons and give it as first dash letter. From the 11th line, font dash size colon 200% semicolon is given. In this way, we use two colons in pseudo element selectors. That means we wrote the CSS code before to change the tags or to change the attributes inside the tags. With this type of selectors, we can change the parts of an element that we include. From the code that we have written now, we can increase the size of the first letter of the paragraph which we enter. Let's see how to show the output of this tag. I go to the index.html page from here. Well, as I learned in the previous lesson, I have created some HTML codes. I created the head and it is given as personal health habits as the title. Below the title tag in the fourth line, the CSS file we created is linked to this document. In this way, link rel equals double quotation, style sheet is typed inside it. We are going to link the CSS code we made there. For that, href equals double quotation style.css is given inside it as the CSS file name. This tag is closed here using the forward slash and the angle bracket. After coming to the seventh row, I open the body tag. Enter here and go to the eighth line. Now I open a div tag in this row and separate a part of this page. Here, the class we created is assigned as class equals double quotation div dash img inside it. From the 10th line, I open an image tag. You know how to insert a picture now. Now, src equals open double quotation, click on the asset in this panel on the left side and select the picture personal.jpg. Give copy URL from this interface and copy the URL of this picture. Now come back to the index.html section and paste the copied URL in this quotation here. Now use forward slash and angle bracket to close this tag. Now let's see the output of this imported image. I click preview here and then click preview in a new window. Now you can see our output. This image has come to the middle of the page because we have given as center in the div-img class in the CSS code here. 